Hey, JD Aliens, what's up, man? I'm super excited about this. Now, I know a lot of y'all like to watch my audio channel where I do Bluetooth speakers and uh, headphones and stuff because I get real hyped up when I get some good quality earbuds and headphones and speakers in. But if you don't know about that channel, make sure you click in the description box. That way you can subscribe to that one too. But I get super duper pumped up when I get stuff in the house like this. Man, this is a gimbal. gimbal I'm, I'm like... I'm a camera gear freak. Like, I got a real problem, man. This is, you know, this company, is it Zhiyun or Zhiyun? I've heard it pronounced both ways. I like Zhiyun. It's almost like Zhiyun. <laughs> it's like I'm gone, man. Zhiyun. Let's do it. Anyways, man, this is the Zhiyun Crane M2, and it is like a great little gimbal from what I've seen. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but from what I've seen, this is a great, I don't want to call it a miniature gimbal, but it's definitely compact. I mean, look at this box. Like most gimbals come in a much bigger case and box. So let's just get this thing open, man. Mr. Meat. Ah, get out of here, man. Let's do some work. Okay, Mr. Meat, chill out, man. I'm getting a little too pumped up about this. Okay, let me let you hear that new stuff sound. Mm. Yeah, man, that's, that's good. That's that's real good. Oh, man, it's like popping that box cherry. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm wilding right now, man. <laughs> okay, oh, it, okay, so you get a case. Yeah, that's nice. All right, last moment of seduction. Ooh, yeah. Oh, man, that is so nice. Get in here, man, so you can see it. Get deep in there. There you go. All right, so this is what we got in the box. Let's start from... Let's start from the top right corner. So top right corner looks like a lanyard. Okay, so cool. It is a small gimbal, man. You might need that lanyard to keep it strapped to your wrist. And that's kind of a nice one, man. Then you got, this looks like a tripod. Yep, it's a nice little tripod. Look how tiny that thing is. It's so small. Put that right there. This is some kind of uh, three quarter, no, uh, quarter inch screw. We'll put that to the side. Let's go here. Well, oh yeah, micro USB-C charging cable. Or did I say micro USB-C? <laughs> <laughs> USB-C charging cable. And then we got, this is a cell phone holder. Let me, yeah, that's a cell phone. Man, it's metal. This is nice. It's got some weight to it. And it feels like quality, man. So it's a good, okay. And it's got th uh, two different uh, quarter inch sc uh, screw holes right there. So you can mount it whichever way you need to. Nice. And then here, this looks like an adapter plate. Yeah, this is your mounting plate right here. And it's got two different sides. Oh, by the way, this thing will let you um, use, man, basically a larger style mirrorless camera. Okay, a mid-size mirrorless camera. So you can't be using like your Sony A7s and stuff, but you could use like a Sony A6000, 6300, 65 and 6400 and 65, I think, did I say that? Uh, that's the top of, I, and the reason why I'm naming Sony's is because I'm a Sony camera user. But anything comparable to that size will be your max camera uh, with maybe a stock lens on it or something like that because the max payload on this thing is about one and a half pounds. And when you're using those cameras uh, of that size, you're pushing the upper parts of that weight limit. And so you don't want to go too much further than that with adding like a microphone or, you know, like an extra heavy lens or something like that. This camera right here that I'm shooting on, this is an A6400 with an 18 to 105 G lens. That's a big, heavy lens. And then this one up here is an A5100 with a stock lens. So when you're using one of those mid-size mirrorless cameras, make sure you kind of, you know, watch your lens and your accessories to it, like mics and stuff like that. But this gimbal really performs well with smaller mirrorless cameras and uh, compact shooters, like the, what is it, the AX90? I don't know. <laughs> I forget all the bottle names. But but the smaller compacts, the smaller mirrorless, like the A5100, and yes, GoPros and your mobile phone. So like everything in there, you can use it with this gimbal. So that makes it great for travel because of its compact size and it works with a variety of cameras. And the reason why I went into all that is because you get these two uh, mounting selections right here. Uh, this bigger one is gonna be for bigger cameras and this is gonna be for like a cell phone or a GoPro right here. So let's go on to the start of the show. Man, it's so tiny. Okay, I'm not kidding, man. My hand, it fits almost in the palm of my hand. This thing is small. You know, just as a comparison, I wanna bust out the uh, DJI Ronin SC just so you can see how small this thing really is. Okay, let me take the tripod mount off of the Ronin SC 
and then you can get a good idea. Okay, so this is the Ronin SC without the tripod and this is the June M2, man. This is, wow, okay. It really pales in comparison. And the crazy thing is, I thought the Ronin SC was actually a small gimbal, but where the uh, Crane M2 shines over the Ronin SC is, let me put this over here, where it shines is, is versatility with GoPros, mobile phones, and the smaller mirrorless camera. So you can just kind of use it with anything, to be honest with you. So you got a lock switch right there and that unlocks the pan axis. Let's, let's lock that back up. That way we can go through the buttons. All right, you got a quarter inch inlet right there. That way you can mount like a cell phone or something like that in there if you, if you have one that'll attach to it. Got your USB-C charging port right there. You got your zoom, you got your W and your T. You got a trigger. And on this side, this looks like if you hold it, you power up and power down. You got your menu button right there. You got a D-pad. Man, it's like a joystick. D-pad, joystick type, a record button and a mode button. Uh, oh, down here. This is important because it does come with this little tripod thing. All right, let's get it unlocked. So you unlock the pan axis right there. It looks like, what does this do? Okay, that slides that out right there. Let's lock it in place. And uh, this red lever, red is calling my name. So what does the red do? Oh, that kind of unlocked everything. So now that we've got this thing fully unlocked, let me go ahead and put it together. We'll run through a, a couple of features and I'm definitely gonna give you some footage. So hang tight. A few moments later. Okay, I got this baby beast uh, all balanced. Let me turn it back off. That way you can see it, how it turns on and everything. So what you gotta do is you gotta balance it with the camera on. That way the lens pops out to where it's supposed to be. So if I turn this camera on, my A5100 lens pops out and then if I hold it up right, it should stay balanced. But it isn't, the gimbal is not turned on. So once I hit this switch right here, you see how it's kind of spinning all over the place. Let me just go ahead and unbalance it. And then I will turn the toggle right here, hold it and it comes on right there and it just flips on. Isn't that cool? I love that, that whole robotic like adjustment thing. All right, so let's run through some stuff. You can get it connected to the Zion app. It's like, a, it's, I think it's called Zplay or Zplay. And uh, once you get connected to the app, uh, you can actually, can you see that right there? Let me get my face out of the camera so it'll focus. So you got your app right there. It'll ask you if you want to use the uh, a camera or a GoPro or a mobile phone or something like that. And then once you get into the app, you can actually use the remote control on the app. So what happens now, if I use this remote, now keep your eye on my finger and the camera. So you can use the app just like that and you can do all kinds of craziness. <laughs> that is pretty cool. All right, you can go up and down, left and right. You can just kind of control it remotely. That way you don't have, you can eliminate the shape. You can put it on a table, on its tripod, and then you can control the camera from here. Now, uh, if you have an A5100 or e any uh, compatible camera, and I know all the Sony cameras do, the Sony mirrorless, and the RX models, they're compatible with the M2. Uh, what happens there is you can actually connect through the camera Wi-Fi and it'll allow you to, uh, to, to record and zoom in or out uh, from the gimbal itself, from this handle, and also through the remote. You can record and take pictures and stuff of that nature. So let's just run through some stuff, man. You got these three modes that are already set on here. You got PF, which is, uh, I think it's person follow. I, I don't know what the mode is. I'll have to look at the instructions. But then you do have a follow mode. Uh, and all you have to do is press the M button. I know y'all can't see that, but all you gotta do is press the M button and you can go into lock. So it's basically, if you see that, it's locked in one position. Let me double tap that trigger and get it centered. So yes, you can double tap the trigger to get it centered and you can hold it in order to lock. Uh, or follow actually, this will follow. So I just saw the, the LED screen go to F and that means follow. See how it's kind of following my movement up and down. If I release it, it goes back to the mode that it was in. And it looks like it's in a kind of a lock mode. This is that PF mode. So if I turn, it kind of follow. Oh, pan follow, duh. Okay, so it'll pan follow, but the other mode is locked. Uh, the other axes are locked. Uh, let's go into the lock. So this is actually locked. So now everything is locked. So the pan is locked and the vertical axis is locked as well. And then you got pan follow. So you get through three modes right here. You can go into your menu settings and access Wi-Fi and stuff like that and your Wi-Fi history, and you can uh, set your motors to a low, medium, and high through the menu here. But when you take it to the app, you got all the modes we just talked about, like pan, follow, follow, lock. Phone go is an extra one that's in here, POV, and then you get this cool vortex mode. So if you tap that, it, it shoots up, which is kind of like, it's either gonna be vertical or it'll lock itself in horizontal. And then you can just hit the toggle right here or the joystick and you can get into that vortex. So you get those cool in and out shots, like you could screw in or screw out. Is that cool or what? And you see how it kind of lags there and then it comes back. 
All right, so that's slick. Man, I'm ready to go out here and film some stuff, man. I feel like a professional right now. So right now, once again, I'm using the, uh, let me get back into the, the pan follow mode. So yeah, man, once again, this is the A5100 on here. I believe that these cameras work best, like this, this size of camera, like the RX100, any model of those, or the uh, the size of the uh, Sony A5100. Yes, you can get up to an A6500 with the kit lens, but once you start adding bigger lenses and microphones and stuff like that, you are dead in the water. And it goes all the way down to a mobile phone and a GoPro or an Osmo Action if you got one. So get your shoes on, man. Now we gotta go outside and check out some of this beautiful footage. Hey, before we go outside, I almost forgot. I actually got this with it, man. I ordered the bundle. So this uh, selfie stick or extension pole comes with it in the bundle, uh, or you can purchase it separately. I liked it because it kind of matched the same color and everything. Does not have a tripod on the bottom end of it, but it does have, uh, I forget what, what this larger size is, this larger screw, but then it kind of springs down. That way you can get that quarter inch uh, screw in there on the bottom of this thing. And this is gonna be a really good accessory to have because it's a small gimbal, but once you, uh, put this on it. Now you can get that extension to where you can get that perfect selfie angle. But what I wanted to show you was if you just unscrew this collar a little bit right here, you can get that extension going. I forget how long this is. We're probably looking at about 18, I don't know, maybe even 24 inches uh, of extension. And then you can get that, that good selfie going with that smoothness of the gimbal. So let's just take all this outside and go play around with it, man. Let's go. All right, we're outside. We're in selfie mode right now. And I gotta admit, man, this thing is pretty fly. Let me see if I can, now I got too much shadow going right here from the sun. So the cool thing about this is that it's so lightweight and this thing is so small and it travels so well. So I would definitely say it is a fantastic travel gimbal because of its compactness. Is that a word, compactness? So yeah, you can definitely use it as a travel style gimbal. Uh, another cool thing is that it has all the features of a big professional gimbal. I mean, give or take a couple of things, but seriously, you could definitely use this thing to shoot some professional video. Uh, right now, I am using it in selfie mode. Hey, check out my cameraman. So if you triple tap the button, it'll go into selfie mode. But if you triple tap it again, I got my man right there shooting me, shooting you. <laughs> now you get to look at me again. Is that cool or what, man? So all you gotta do is double tap, or I'm sorry, triple tap the trigger, just like uh, a lot of the other uh, well-known gimbals do. But right now you're looking at me in selfie mode and you can see the stabilization. I'm actually looking at my flip screen in the A5100 and I can see how, how level and steady this thing is. It's almost like I'm on one of those tracks you see in the airport where I'm just gliding. So here's the thing. If you're gonna be using a gimbal like this, has all this technology built into it, has all this power. You don't wanna just use it for shooting yourself, even though it does work well. I mean, look at that face. You know, that face and all this smoothness, that's just butter, baby. You gotta use this thing to get some really good footage. <laughs> Man, I gotta admit, that was the most exercise I've ever gotten uh, shooting a YouTube video. <laughs> Those dogs had me running all over the place. But as you can see, this is a very capable gimbal. It does everything and it does it pretty well. And it's super lightweight, super compact, so you just pretty much take it with you anywhere. Just slide it in your backpack. You don't even really need the case. But that's enough about the Zhong Crane M2. Let's talk about my social media just for a second. Right there, yep. All right, I got Facebook and Twitter. And I'm not there that much, but I'm heavy on Instagram like all the time. So be sure to follow me there if you wanna hang out after the video. But for now, I got more videos to make, so I gotta go. But if you had a good time checking out the Zhong Crane M2, make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section, and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where you going? No, 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 sit back down. We gotta talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right then, hit the subscribe button. There you go, reach down there, there you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You gotta come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right, I knew you would. All right, man, I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained?
Is this not why you are here? 